Right guys, so today we're going to be looking at how to make a modded crossbow like this. But as per normal, before I start, I'm just going to say we're using Cheat Engine and whatever happens as a result of you using Cheat Engine can't be held against me and please use at your own risk. Right, so let's get into it. So what we're going to need is we're going to need a harp crossbow. So what I'm going to do is, this is my harp crossbow. It has no enchantments, but it does. It has nine and it has a gilded. So we need to obtain a basic harp crossbow. So the best thing you can do is go to any merchant. Let me just restock it. Don't really want armor, but it will work. So we're just going to buy this. All right, so we've got our base item. So we go back to our inventory. Here's our base item. It does have armor traits on it. They won't work on the crossbow, but anyway. So within Cheat Engine, if you haven't already set it up, downloaded the cheat table from Birdie. That is on my previous video. Go check it out. It will tell you what to do, how to get it loaded up, and then you can start from here. So anyway, I'm on the Windows Store, so I need to click Windows Store. I then need to scroll down to the current version, which is 1.8.6. So I'm on here, and then I need to go Item Edit. This will load up. And then you can see it's invalid at the moment. So what we do is we click back on the armor and here we go. This is the armor stats. So at the moment I've got plate armor. I need to change that to the crossbow. So we want a harp crossbow. So we just keep cl clicking H until it comes across it. This is probably the easiest way to find it rather than stroll through. Then I press enter and then enter and it's here, harp crossbow. So then we go back into the game and we right click and it will spawn a harp crossbow. It has got armor traits on it. I'm gonna get rid of them. So by going down to armor traits here we click on that we scroll down we can see over here on the right hand side it's got a value and it's got this here so what I'm going to do is change this to zero and I think that will get rid of them there we go so now the traits are gone because we don't need traits on it they don't work so there's no point showing them right so the next thing we need to do is make it gilded so we go down to gilded and we select gilded it's on rare as well, so we will change the rare to unique. We click that and there we go. So harp crossbow, unique, gilded. Then we need to set to the gilded enchantment. Now this is where it really gets uh, quite interesting. So we go on to enchantments, gilded enchantment, change to rapid fire. So I'm pressing R again to try and find it. There it is, hit enter, enter. And then under the enchanted, now I've got this one here, you probably won't have this because I've manually put it in, I'll show you how to do that in a sec. So I'm going to put it to level 5000, click OK and then right click on the crossbow. You can see here it's got increased fire rate and then over here it says level 5000. Now it only stays at level 3 because that's all they've got, they don't intend it to go up to level 5000. So anyway, what you'll normally have to do is if you downloaded the uh, CT from the link that I've put in the description, to get level 5000 you need to scroll all the way down on the cheat table down to data links do not touch check that then go down to enchantments and then ET now what you need to do is you need to right click go set to change drop down selection options now I've put this in here so I can easily select it and I've also unchecked disallow manual user input so do this press OK and then you'll be able to get it from the drop down list the next step is these bytes here. So under type you have bytes. They're all set to byte generally. So you need to double click it and change it so it says four bytes. So it'll be on byte and then you need to change it to four bytes. Click OK and then reselect your level 5000 and you'll be good as gold. Right, so <clears throat> we've got this set up. We've got increased fire rate. Now the thing with increased fire rate so I've found is if I equip it and then I fire my arrows won't go down as long as I'm holding the mouse button down so I'm right clicking I'm holding right click and they're not going down once I let go my arrow goes down so let's do that again so I'm holding it down I'm firing and it goes down so that's a little bug that somehow happens when you put this up to over a hundred I think it is so you put the guild enchantment over to a hundred and it doesn't seem to like it for some reason it's just a little bug so if I change that back to three now so it's on three I can only click once and then my arrows are gone. So then I change it back to level 5000. Hold on. All right, level 5000 here because that's my other bow. Level 5000, right click, equip it. So I'm on 5000 and then I can do this. Bit of a bug. I don't know if it's meant to do that, but they do still hit. So it's really weird. But anyway, you've almost got infinite arrows that way. So the next thing that we need to do is 
we need to sort out these enchantments here. So the enchantments that we're going to have are basically ones that aid the bow. So if you haven't got nine here, I would suggest you get an item that already has nine. So then you're not mucking around with anything and it's not not too much trouble. I mean, if it doesn't say nine, it says one and three, then change both to nine and nine. So what we need to do now is choose the enchantments that we want. So I want to have um, cool, no, not cool down. I'm trying to think now because I can't see it. Well, I can have a look on my other one. So I've got infinity and ricochet and then I've got gravity bow. So what I'll do is gone right way past it. Infinity ricochet so I'm pressing R here to get it I've got protection we don't need protection I've got gravity bow on here but I'm gonna put multi shot on it right so there we go so you can see here they're all set so we move on to these ones these ones I've got you don't really need any conduit in few shot is a bit it's a bit iffy because it only fires through after the third three and then if you, because you're firing so many arrows it sort of um, dispels itself and doesn't work so you can put power on so right where are we so we put power on so we got power there food reserves we do not need uh, remember this is an armor so it's using armor enchantments generally so we need to scroll to the other ones so uh, you can put growing on accelerate right accelerates a good one got to remember where that is so it's on here now but this this enchantment becomes a bit buggy I'll explain in a minute right death barter we've got there we don't want that so we're gonna scroll up and we're gonna choose something else um, you could put punch on if you want that would be quite good before we done ricochet um let me think got rapid fire you can put bonus shot on if you want that will um give more arrows per thing and then um so that one's done there so now we need some on this now it'd be worth putting cooldown on if you wanted to um if you're going to use some enchantment um artifacts um, we've already put infinity on you could put another infinity on if you know there's no point just trying to really think and go through it burst bow string if you want to roll uh, we can put growing on so yeah, let's put a supercharge on so I can't remember what supercharge charge uh, charge shots deal more damage, so there's really no point because we're not charging them. So we've put basically we've put the base ones on that we need. We just you just put anything else that you want as well. Um, so I will. I'm going to put a new conduit on. Oh, you could put um, uh, Enigma on. I'm not sure if it works. We'll find out. Enigma. And then let's do something else. Let's do. Um, you could do a fire focus or a lightning focus, and then if you use or oh, soul focus, that might be a good one. If you use um, one of the uh, quivers, then it will aid that as well. So there's lots to choose from depending on what type of build you want, but the main ones are the ones that give you the most arrows. Um, right, let's put. Have I done piercing? remember now so we've got that that yeah piercing there you go so there's these are the enchantments that I've chosen basically what you want is you want multi shot multi shot ricochet you've got increased fire rate um, you can put bonus shot on that's a good one and you want infinity they're probably the main three that you want um, just to give you the most arrows out of your your fires shots whatever you want to call it right so now we need to come down to enchanting the levels now most of these can go to 5000 but accelerate can't if you put it to it it just it just won't work for some reason so we need to keep that to three so we're just going to put these to 5000 see that's gone to 136 this is because of what I was speaking about earlier about byte so what we need to do is change all these to four bytes so there's an easy way of doing it if you if you select all the ones you want with shift hold down shift and then double click oh it doesn't work 
that's weird because if you do this you can change all them but if you do it there we go so it does work you just got to make sure you click it right so then you want it four bytes press ok they've all changed to four bytes I didn't actually change this one which is funny four bytes and then we can get on adding the 5000 5000 5000 so which one wasn't it I couldn't do 2R so a 2R which is this one it needs to be 3 and this one this one and that one can all be level 5000 right so I've done that you can see my enchantments have gone through the roof because I've set them all to 5000 here you can see everything's disappeared just like it did on the other one so chain reaction that's a good one you can add chain reaction in so I'm gonna get rid of uh, anemo red no we're gonna keep it as it is and see how it goes right so we set everything up we got my bow equipped we've put our um, gilded enchantment on we put all these enchantments on so let's give it a whirl so that's how you make a crazy bow it's like the best bow in the game could ever be there is no need for another weapon I mean, I'll load it into a game in a minute and you can have a look. But it's absolutely mental. And then if you um, combine that with um, an artifact like lightning or something like that, then it will absolutely go mental as well. So let's load it into a level. We will go into a hard level. I don't know what level the boat is. Right, level 25. Let's start mission. So I made this on a clone. I must stress that if you're if you're modding your main character it's probably not a good idea get a feel for it first use a clone so therefore if anything goes wrong and you corrupt your save you're not going to lose it now before I was playing around with armor and I actually corrupted my save game and I lost my clone but I was lucky because that's all I had was a clone if I done it on my main account or my main character you know I wouldn't have I would have been screwed unless I had a backup so it might be advised to back up and use a clone So. There we go. It's ludicrous, this bow. It's absolutely mental. So nothing should give you any any problems. It's literally one it kill. And then if you really want it to go mental, put chain reaction on and it would probably go even more mental. I'll try and do it now. I also made a bow with, um, I'll show you quickly. <clears throat> Um, we'll get rid of this one here and we'll put chain reaction on. I just gotta find it. Cool down, cool down, chilling contents to the committed change chain reaction. So you can do this in game, it's not a problem. So it's got chain reaction now. And I'm gonna change this and um, it's called res re resurrection, mob resurrection. So we've got one mob resurrection, which basically means that if you ever had it when you've killed a mob and they, they come back by themselves, it's really annoying. This will mean that they will come back. It's it's quite clever. So let's see if any come back. I set it to five days ago, so they're all coming back because I've set that up. You can see the chain reaction's working really well, but you don't need it. So you've, you've sort of here, you've got an XP farm bow now. But considering you can mod levels and st XP and stuff like that, you don't really need to do it. It's just something for a bit of fun. Well, anyway, that is the bow. Hopefully, um, you'll go off, you'll make one, and you'll kill a load of things, and it will. You just have some fun with it, really. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully, it's helped you. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Any questions, shout them out. I'll do the best to answer them. But first of all, just have fun. I'll catch you later.